Picture this. You're driving a car, but it's unlike any drive you've ever taken. Beneath you, valleys drop hundreds of meters, rivers shimmer like silver threads far below, and jagged mountain peaks slice into the clouds. You're not flying in a plane, and you're not gliding in a drone, you're cruising across a bridge that seems to float in the sky, a delicate ribbon of steel connecting cliffs that were once thought impossible to cross. Every turn feels like a leap into the void, yet the bridge holds you steady, a testament to human ingenuity. As of 2023, China has constructed over 1 million modern bridges, a staggering number that reshapes the landscape and the lives of millions. But the real jaw-dropper? At least 70 of the world's 100 tallest bridges are in China. 70. That's more than the rest of the world combined. Imagine it. A nation that was once celebrated for serene rice terraces and elegant pagodas now dominates the skies with feats of engineering that honestly defy gravity. So how did this transformation happen? How did a country with a rich cultural history in art and architecture suddenly become the king of high-altitude bridge engineering? The answer isn't just in steel or concrete, it's in vision, ambition, and a mindset that sees challenges not as barriers, but as invitations to innovate. In the next few minutes, we'll take you on a journey across some of the world's most breathtaking structures, bridges that hang above clouds, bridges assembled with rockets, and bridges that light up the night like constellations. These aren't just roads, they're statements. They're audacious, thrilling, and transformative. And by the end, you'll see that China's bridges aren't just crossing mountains, they're crossing the limits of what we thought was possible. To understand China's modern sky-high bridges, we need to step back 1,400 years into history. Long before steel and concrete, Chinese engineers were already creating structures that combined strength, beauty, and ingenuity. Take the Zhaozhou Bridge, also called the Zhaozhou Bridge, built during the Sui Dynasty. It's the world's oldest open spandrel stone arch bridge, still standing today, made entirely of stone, no steel, no mortar, and yet it has survived centuries of floods, earthquakes, and dynastic changes. Bridges in ancient China weren't just practical, they were symbols of connection and harmony, deeply rooted in philosophy. Confucianism emphasized order and social cohesion while Taoism valued balance with nature. These ideas shaped the way bridges were designed, strong enough to endure, elegant enough to inspire, and strategically placed to connect communities and regions. Over the centuries, bridge building evolved from simple wooden crossings to intricate stone and brick structures. Each new bridge wasn't just infrastructure, it was a statement of ingenuity, a testament to human creativity, and a tool for binding regions into a larger unified nation. The lessons learned from these ancient marvels, structural balance, efficient use of materials, and respect for the environment, laid the foundation for modern Chinese engineering, where heritage meets ambition to conquer landscapes previously deemed impossible. Over centuries, Chinese bridges evolved from modest wooden planks to massive stone and brick arches, each generation learning from the last. But as the country grew, so did the challenges. Simple river crossings weren't enough anymore. Engineers had to span deep valleys, jagged cliffs, and vast mountain ranges. Bridges became more than pathways. They were lifelines, connecting distant villages, facilitating trade, and integrating regions into a cohesive nation. The leap from traditional materials to modern steel and concrete megastructures marked a new era. Wooden trestles gave way to suspension and cable-stayed bridges that could stretch over kilometers without support from below. Concrete allowed unprecedented stability and durability. Engineers began to apply mathematics, physics, and advanced surveying techniques to make designs possible in previously inaccessible terrain. But these new bridges weren't just bigger, they were smarter. They had to survive extreme winds, earthquakes, and fluctuating temperatures while still providing safe passage for vehicles and pedestrians. Modern high bridges became a statement, not only a way to cross rivers or valleys, but a demonstration of human innovation conquering nature itself. Each bridge embodies centuries of knowledge, fused with futuristic ambition, showing that in China, engineering isn't just about infrastructure, it's about rising above limits. China is a country of staggering scale and dramatic landscapes. From the towering peaks of the Himalayas, to the jagged limestone karsts of the south, from deep river valleys to remote rural plateaus, the terrain is as beautiful as it is unforgiving. For centuries, people in these regions were isolated, villages separated by cliffs, rivers that could only be crossed by boat, and roads that twisted for hours through dangerous passes. Conventional bridges and roads simply couldn't keep up. 
Traditional engineering methods worked for rivers or gentle hills, but the country needed something bigger, bolder, bridges that could span vast chasms, endure violent winds, and survive earthquakes. These were not ordinary projects. They were feats of ambition. China approached this challenge the way it has approached great undertakings throughout history, by combining heritage with innovation. Ancient principles of design, balance, and efficiency were merged with modern science, cutting-edge materials like high-strength steel, and bold engineering techniques. The goal wasn't just to connect places, it was to unite a massive nation, to shrink distances, and to give people access to opportunities, education, and commerce that were previously unreachable. This is where China's high bridges move from being a technical achievement to a national mission, an audacious statement that no valley is too deep, no mountain too high when vision meets engineering. Now let's step onto the Bay Panjang Bridge, one of China's most breathtaking high-altitude roadways. Suspended 565 meters above the ground, that's taller than the Empire State Building, this bridge stretches across a rugged canyon in Guizhou Province, a region where mountains rise like shark fins and valleys plunge like scars. Before it existed, locals had to take long, winding detours, turning what should have been a few minutes of travel into hours. Building it wasn't easy. Engineers faced howling winds, steep cliffs, and unstable terrain, conditions that could twist steel beams and topple trucks if not carefully accounted for. To tackle these challenges, they used an umbrella-shaped centerline cable combined with double loose cable support frames, a system designed to absorb the forces of wind, weight, and weather. Even more impressive, the 78 main beams of the bridge were hoisted into place in just 18 days less than three weeks to connect cliffs that had never been joined before. But this bridge is about more than engineering. Every vehicle that crosses it represents connection and transformation. A farmer reaching markets in minutes instead of hours. Children accessing schools without treacherous treks. Communities finally linked to the national economy. Driving across Bay Panjang isn't just a thrill. It's a glimpse of what happens when human ingenuity dares to challenge the sky itself. If Bay Panjang felt like driving through the clouds, the Sidu River Bridge takes that experience to an entirely new level. Suspended 560 meters above the river valley, it's the world's tallest suspension bridge from deck to ground. Imagine hanging the Eiffel Tower under the bridge and still having room to spare beneath you. The scale alone is staggering, but the story of how it was built is even more extraordinary. The terrain here is brutal. Sharp peaks, deep canyons, and unstable geology made traditional construction nearly impossible. There were no flat fields to stage equipment, no roads to transport heavy materials. To span the gorge, engineers used a radical solution. They launched the pilot cable across the canyon using rockets. One carefully calculated shot, threading a steel cable through raging winds and jagged cliffs, paved the way for the suspension system. It was high-stakes engineering at its most daring. The Sidu River Bridge isn't just about breaking records. It's a monument to human courage, precision, and determination. Driving across it, you don't just see the height. You feel the magnitude of what it represents. Bridging impossible gaps, connecting communities, and redefining the limits of engineering itself. In some regions of China, the landscape seems almost hostile to human ambition. Take Le Shui, a rugged area of cliffs and deep gorges where winding dirt roads once forced travelers to spend hours just to move between neighboring towns. Traditional construction methods were impossible here. Helicopters couldn't safely transport materials, and drones or manual labor couldn't span the wide, windy chasm. Engineers turned to an extraordinary solution, a solid-fuel rocket. Fired from one cliff to another, the rocket carried a pilot cable across the gorge, providing the first thread of connection that allowed the bridge's suspension system to be built. This single daring act laid the foundation for the Louis Suspension Bridge, a 1,280-meter-long marvel suspended over some of the most unforgiving terrain in the region. The bridge transformed life for local communities. Travel that once took nearly two hours now takes under an hour. Farmers can reach markets quickly, students can get to school safely, and families separated by cliffs are finally connected. Here, engineering meets courage, and the result isn't just a structure, it's freedom and opportunity. The Louis Bridge reminds us that sometimes, building the future requires thinking beyond conventional limits, sometimes literally launching it into the sky. Not every bridge is built solely to conquer nature. Some are designed to celebrate it. 
The Ahai Bridge, also called the AI Bridge, is a perfect example. Stretching 1,176 meters across and suspended 355 meters above the Dehang Canyon in Hunan Province, it's not just one of the world's highest and longest tunnel-to-tunnel -tunnel suspension bridges, it's a masterpiece of design and engineering. At night, the bridge transforms into a stairway to the stars. Over 2,000 LED lights illuminate the structure, turning it into a glowing ribbon above the canyon, visible for miles. But its beauty is matched by its technical ingenuity. A high was the first bridge in the world to use the rail cable slip method for erecting the main beam, allowing engineers to construct the deck outward from both ends until the two sides met perfectly in the middle. Its tower beam separation structure provides flexibility in a geological environment prone to landslides and violent winds. Crossing the Ahai Bridge isn't just a commute, it's an experience. It blends engineering, aesthetics, and human vision into a single structure. It's proof that bridges can be more than steel and concrete. They can be art suspended in the sky, where innovation meets inspiration and technology dances with nature. By now, you've seen the heights, the daring engineering, and the breathtaking visuals. But a bridge is never just metal and stone. It's a symbol of connection. In China, bridges carry more than vehicles. They carry ambition, unity, and hope. They're a statement that no valley is too deep, no mountain too high, and no obstacle too great when human vision meets determination. Bridges reshape daily life. Where there was isolation, there is now access. Villages that were once hours apart are now just minutes away. Dangerous river crossings have been replaced with safe, reliable pathways. Communities are linked to schools, hospitals, and markets. Each bridge is a story of human ingenuity bridging gaps, not just between cliffs, but between people, opportunity, and the future. And culturally, these bridges continue a long tradition. They're reminders that engineering and philosophy can coexist. They honor ancient Chinese principles of balance, harmony, and resilience while also demonstrating what is possible when we combine heritage with cutting-edge technology. In China, bridges aren't just infrastructure. They're poetic connections between the past, present, and future. China's high bridges are not just feats of engineering. They're engines of social and economic transformation. In regions once cut off by mountains or rivers, a single bridge can turn a day-long journey into a 10-minute drive. Farmers can now transport crops to markets efficiently, students reach schools without dangerous treks, and emergency services can respond quickly to crises. Beyond convenience, these bridges stimulate regional economies. Remote communities gain access to national and international supply chains, trade expands, and tourism flourishes. Roads that were impassable during the rainy season are now reliable year-round, creating stability and new opportunities for investment. The impact is deeply human. Each bridge represents a lifted burden, a new possibility, and a connection to the broader society. They prove that infrastructure isn't just about moving vehicles, it's about moving lives, dreams, and communities forward. When you look at China's sky-high bridges, you're not just seeing steel and cables, you're seeing a lifeline that transforms landscapes and lives alike. China's bridge-building achievements don't stop at its borders. They're reshaping infrastructure across the world, over the past two decades, Chinese engineering firms have exported their expertise to Asia, Africa, and Latin America, constructing mega bridges that tackle challenging terrains, much like they have at home. From river crossings in the Congo to mountainous regions in Pakistan, these projects carry more than steel and concrete. They carry a philosophy connection is power. This global influence is strategic as well as humanitarian. By building bridges in developing regions, China enables trade creates jobs, and fosters regional integration, often in areas where traditional engineering methods fail. But beyond the economics, these projects serve as examples of audacious thinking and problem solving. Techniques pioneered in China, like high-altitude suspension bridges, modular construction, or even rocket-assisted cable installation, are being adapted worldwide, accelerating infrastructure development in countries with previously insurmountable geographical challenges. China's bridges abroad also tell a story of vision-meeting ambition. They showcase how a nation can export not just technology, but a mindset. Challenges are not barriers. They are invitations to innovate. In this sense, every bridge is more than a road. It's a symbol of influence, cooperation, and global engineering leadership, demonstrating that human ingenuity, when scaled, can cross oceans and continents just as effectively as it crosses valleys and mountains. 
So how did China become the undisputed king of high-altitude bridges? The answer lies in a unique combination of history, culture, and audacious engineering. Ancient lessons from stone and wooden bridges taught balance, efficiency, and harmony with nature. Philosophical principles from Confucianism and Taoism emphasized resilience, foresight, and connection. These foundations didn't just vanish. They were amplified with modern science, advanced materials, and cutting-edge techniques. China didn't just build bridges, it redefined what a bridge could be. From overcoming extreme terrain with rockets and innovative cable systems to turning functional structures into illuminated works of art, every bridge is a statement of vision and ambition. These projects aren't isolated feats. They're part of a larger story of national unity, social transformation, and human ingenuity. Looking at the bigger picture, China's bridges are more than infrastructure. They are symbols of possibility. They remind us that limitations are not walls, but invitations to push higher, think bolder, and act with precision and courage. In the story of human achievement, China's bridges aren't just milestones. They are chapters in a journey that continues to inspire, challenge, and elevate what's possible. As our journey across China's sky-high bridges comes to a close, it's clear that these structures are more than steel, concrete, and cables. They are gateways to the future, to opportunity, and to human potential. Every bridge tells a story of vision meeting courage, of communities transformed, and of ambition literally reaching into the clouds. Now imagine what's next. Floating bridges in space, Africa's mega infrastructure projects reshaping entire regions or innovations that we haven't even dreamed of yet. China's bridges remind us that engineering is not just math and metal. It's art, philosophy, and hope combined. They connect land, ideas, and people in ways that redefine what's possible. If this journey inspired you, don't just watch, engage. Tap like, subscribe, and leave a comment which bridge blew your mind the most. Was it the rocket-launched Marvel, the glowing stairway to the stars, or one of the world's tallest suspension giants? Your curiosity fuels the next adventure. Remember this. Sometimes the most incredible journeys don't begin with a step. They begin with a bridge. A bridge that connects not just two points on a map, but people, possibilities, and the future itself.